Hello. For our reflection on all the good gifts we have wrapped up in Jesus, we've been thinking about joy. Now, my wife, who, in case you don't know, is called Joy, has a Bible reading. This is from Luke chapter 2, and it's verses 8 to 11. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Thank you. Now, joy can be a difficult idea. Some people, I think, are naturally more cheerful than others. I think Joy, my wife, is one of those people who's naturally cheerful and cheers other people up. Whereas I'm sure Joy would tell you that I'm not one of those people. But we can still both have a deep joy in Jesus and all the gifts he brings. And the story Joy read out is about that deep joy the angel appeared to the shepherds on the night when jesus was born and said that he brought good news that would bring joy to all the people that a savior had been born in the town of david who was the christ the messiah who was the lord so why is that a source of joy? Why is Jesus a source of joy? Well, there are many reasons, but what the angel was talking about was that Jesus was the king that everyone was waiting for. David lived about a thousand years before Jesus was born, and his dynasty had ended, the kings in David's line had all died out, but the prophets of God had been telling the people of God that there would be another king, an even better king than King David, who some people thought was the best king they'd ever had. He would come and rule properly. I think we can probably understand how that could be a source of joy, the idea of someone coming and actually running the government properly. We only have to look at people like Vladimir Putin, or maybe even some of the politicians we know closer to home, to see what a trial it can be when people govern badly. And God's people knew all about that. When they first started with King, the prophet Samuel told them how awful governments can be. But still, God held out the hope to them that they would one day have a good and perfect king. People sometimes say God is in his heaven and all is right with the world. The idea of God ruling over us is sometimes presented as good news. But the birth of Jesus is better news than that. It's not about God being in his heaven. It's about God coming down to earth. Jesus is God born as one of us to show the real solidarity that God has with us, to show the great love that God has for us, to become one of us so that we can become one with him. And we know, of course, looking back on the Christmas story, that Jesus isn't around on earth physically anymore. But when he left to return to his heavenly throne, he told his friends and followers that it was good that he was going away because he was leaving someone even better. The one person who could be better than Jesus, God 
with us, God being born in the dirt and the squalor of a stable, to be really one of the down-to-earth people that he came to befriend, the one thing better than that, the one person better than that, is God the Spirit, who can actually live inside us and give us the power and the guidance we need. So it's not about God being up in heaven somewhere. God's down here on earth with us. And he's not just somewhere around here. If we let him, he will actually come by his spirit and live in us and live through us. And so we can enjoy not just the idea that there is a God somewhere, that there is a purpose to our existence, but the guidance and the help that we need to fulfill the purpose for which God created each one of us. That's the good news that the angel brought to bring great joy to all the people. So I think Joy's a bit shy to say a prayer out loud. So I'm just going to finish by saying a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the joy of Christmas. Thank you for the good news, that the joy that we feel when we sing Christmas carols, when we see Christmas lights, when we receive Christmas presents, is a sign of the deep joy that you want each one of us to know. Whether we're naturally cheerful people or naturally grumpy people, thank you that you have created each one of us to enjoy life, to enjoy each other, to enjoy your creation, and most of all, to enjoy you. I want to pray that we may know that joy in a new and a deeper way this Christmas. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you.